everyone! Welcome to week 10 of our 2017 Home Organizing Challenge. Join me here every week and I'll give you a simple task to focus on throughout the week and you'll baby step your way to a more organized home. This week we are continuing our work on clearing out all this paper clutter that's taking over your house and we are focusing on owner's manuals and home warranties. Now those are things that might not be within your reach, taking up room on your countertops and you know really impeding your daily lives, but I promise you if you are holding on to unnecessary user's manuals of old appliances that you no longer have, um, those things can be really thick. So they're probably taking up some added space in your home that you could be using for other things. So this week, I want you to come along as we figure out what we need to keep, what we can get rid of, and how to store it best. So the first thing that I want you to do is start collecting all of those user manuals that might be stashed away in a few different areas. So you might have some in a kitchen drawer, you might have some in your home filing system, so they might be spread out throughout your home. Get them all together and let's lay them all out. I want you to start grouping those into categories. So when I say category for a user manual or a warranty, um, one general one that I would give maybe is kitchen. So anything that you purchase that belongs in the kitchen can go in one kitchen pile. You could also do an electronics pile. You could also do, if you have young kids, maybe a kid's toys pile. So anything that you buy for the kids can all go in there. So start grouping all of those together. Now once you've grouped them all, I want you to look through each grouping, each pile that you've made, and figure out, do I still own that item? Uh, this is one of the things that I find most interesting, and I've done it personally, is when we purchase things, we make sure that we file that user manual away, right? But then when we get rid of the item, or if it breaks, or if we sell it and we replace it with a new one, we don't always toss that old manual. So I want you to go through and just get rid of anything that you no longer have. The next thing I want you to do with the manuals that remain in each category is something that a lot of people don't realize is a lot of these user manuals can be found online. So nowadays companies are loading a digital copy, a PDF file onto their website that has that same exact manual that you are now holding that might be an inch thick, taking up space that you really don't have. So I want you to look through that pile and see if you can find the electronic or digital copy. And if so, I want you to save that to your computer in a labeled file on your computer so you know where to find it. Um, and then you can get rid of that paper copy because now if you ever needed it for whatever reason, if something broke or you needed to troubleshoot something, you have a place that you can go get that information. All right, so once you've done that with all of the piles, it's time to file them away. So you've decided what you're keeping, now let's find a home for it. I wanna show you two great options for filing home warranties and um, the user manuals. The first is a filing uh, system. And so this is you know, just a little um, file folder right here. You can see that we have them separated out into categories. And so each category, each pile that you made on the floor would have its own hanging file folder. And you know, we have household, we have kitchen, we have garage or outdoor. Maybe if you have outdoor equipment, lawn equipment could have its own category. Um, kids equipment has its own category. So all of those things would have its own separate file folder and you would just drop them in. The reason that I suggest doing this instead of just adding a file folder maybe to your existing household paperwork is that if you create a file in your household paperwork that just says manuals or user manuals, everything goes in there. Now when you need to find that, when you go into that drawer to retrieve that user manual, it's going to take you so much longer than if you had separated them out. So I always recommend separating them out by category. If you don't have room for extra files in your home, this is portable, so you could actually just purchase a standalone filing system like this, or if you wanted, you could also go um, the manual binder route. And this I really, really love. You're doing the same thing as your filing system, but instead of using file folders, you're using these poly pockets. And so each poly pocket would have a tab and you would label the tab with your category. So all of your kitchen, all of your baby items, all of your outdoor, you know, lawn and garden equipment, that type of thing would all get its own poly pocket and you would slide the manuals right into that pocket. And these pockets are great because they have a front and a back. So you could slide some in here, slide some in here, and it's gonna hold a lot. If you wanted to do a binder system, you could have one for the entire household, which is what we have here to show you. You could also do a separate small binder for each room. So maybe keep a binder in the kitchen of all of the kitchen manuals. Keep a binder 
in the nursery with all of the baby um, equipment. Keep a, one out in the garage with all of the lawn and garden, and so on and so forth. So those are two options that I want to show you today. Great systems. Hopefully one of those will work for you, but the first thing is to get rid of all of that unnecessary paperwork. You might find that you've been holding on to a manual for a fridge that you've had for, you know, that you haven't had for 20 years. Um, so I hope that you can spend 15 minutes every day cleaning out these old manuals and setting up a filing system for all of the remaining ones. All right, that's it. So I hope you all have a great week. Leave me comments, questions um, with anything that you're stumped with, and I'm happy to help as always. Bye-bye.